Niggas in the city moving slow. 30, 30, 35, for the coat. All, all, all the real niggas keep you flow. Keep you flow. All right, so The Weeknd just released his album slash EP, My Dear Melanconin, or Melanconin, I hope I hope I said that right, and people, people are already expecting another project from The week, or people are speculating that The Weeknd's gonna drop another project, and at first I was thinking, why would he drop another project, like he's a big star, then someone brought it to my attention, he's going back to the thing that made him, like that built his buzz around him, he's going back to the trilogy. Which when those projects dropped at the time, they weren't called a trilogy. And so he signed to a major and it got released for like, when you can like actually purchase them. If you're a day one weekend fan, you remember he released House of the Blooms. A couple months later, he released Thursday. And then he ended off with Echoes of Silence. If this holds to be true, the title of his next EP slash album is going gonna, is gonna to be called We're Alone Together. And people are going on on the hunch because he posted that on his Instagram in quotations. How do you feel about that? If he's actually gonna go with this rollout? I mean, the old Abel is the best Abel. House of Balloons to me is still his best work. Thursday, I love Thursday. Echoes of Silence, not really. I thought that was kind of weak. Yeah. But um, if he's going back to some old Abel shit and he's gonna drop another fire mixtape because i thought my dear melacolin was great so if he's gonna drop another another part two of this i'm all for it i fuck with the weekend weekend never really misses i've said kiss land so i'm all for this yeah and it's crazy like how many artists do you look back and they go back to the thing that got them like buzzing you know and like the weekends mind you these projects are not free like those projects were but still like if you have streaming service you can stream the project it's just crazy to think like he's gonna go back to this, you know. At this point, where the weekend's at his career, like you think he needs this? Like, why do you think no, he'll be he doing this? Drop, he can drop anything he wants and it still sell right now at this point in his career. But yeah. if he really, if he's really feeling the vibe to do this again, he should do it. No, I, don't, I hope he's not just doing it just to, like a money grab or anything, though. Right? I don't know. Uh, that's true, but I mean, yo, he was shedding tears in at Coachella, man. When he when he performed "Call Out My Name," so this can't you be. Think it. That was planned. Nah, I don't think that was. I don't think that was planned because I don't think in the second time around he wasn't crying. That was the first time him performing that record, and I'm pretty sure those tears were actually like uh, they they hit him, man. They hit him. And like we get, people got to remember, like the weekend's a regular person, like everyone else, you know. You know, the man has feelings, but yeah, man, I, I can't I can't wait if, if this holds true. I hope it just again like when what was the speculation for the title? Oh, we're alone together. I hope it drops randomly, just like this last one. No big promotion. Mm. Boom, it's there, and we just get it. When you think about it, though, the sales for this is going to be crazy. It's probably going to be Weekend's best-selling album once it gets released, and they're going to repackage it. Three albums get count as many times or whatever if you're going platinum. But it's crazy if he, um, if he goes his route. Hopefully, this starts a trend. If you're like an R&B artist, I'm not going to say a hip-hop artist, but an R&B artist where, like, Yo, this is this this is this is this is an actual thing to do, you know? Dropping projects like I don't well not everyone can do this, right? No, not everyone's as good to drop three projects in one year and made them all good. Yeah. Bryson Tiller dropped one fire project and the follow up was pretty mediocre. <sighs> that so. is true. Yeah, if, if this if this holds true, we should just be appreciating the weekend for what he's doing right now, man.